See this giant tub of ice cream with whipped cream on top and two heroic humans? That's what it takes to vaccinate this brown bear against COVID-19. Over 100 animals at the Oakland Zoo in Northern California got a preventative COVID-19 jab, starting with the most vulnerable, larger mammals first. How is this vaccine different from the ones given to humans? What makes some animals develop particularly severe symptoms of COVID-19? And most importantly, should you get your pets vaccinated? Stay tuned, as we'll bring you everything there is to know about the animals that have caught COVID-19. COVID-19 is not picky about choosing its hosts. This virus is zoonotic, which means that like many common colds, rabies, and HIV, it jumps from animals to humans. And that happens easily as humans continue to push into and interfere with wild animal habitats. Human zero, animals one. We also know that humans can pass the virus to some animals and make them very sick. Only mammals have been transmitters or are susceptible to the COVID-19 virus, and many of them are endangered species. Great. But animals are affected differently by the COVID-19 virus. Some animals, like bats, act as incubators for the virus and don't get affected much themselves. Other animals can be badly affected by it. Why is that? How much COVID-19 affects a particular animal depends on the genetic structure of a protein called ACE2. Angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 is found on the surface of some cells lining your nose, mouth, and lung tissues. When an animal gets exposed to COVID-19, the spiked cells of the virus look for ACE2 cells to latch onto. Like a key that fits a lock, the better the virus fits into the ACE2 protein structure, the greater its impact. Human ACE2 cells are an excellent fit for the COVID-19 virus cells, making us susceptible to the virus. And animals that have ACE2 structures similar to yours are more likely to respond badly to the virus. But animals with vastly different ACE2 protein structures don't get affected. Doctors at the University of California, Davis, tested over 400 animal species looking for the closest genetic similarities to human ACE2. They found that other primates with their very similar genetic makeup to humans are at the highest risk of catching the SARS-CoV-2 virus from humans. In January 2021, a family of eight gorillas at the San Diego Zoo caught COVID-19 from their asymptomatic human carer. Three of the gorillas had congestion and were coughing. Six months later, Ramil, an unvaccinated snow leopard in the San Diego Zoo, also tested positive for COVID-19. He suffered from coughing and a runny nose. Large cats like Ramil have been especially vulnerable to COVID-19, and they're high on the list of animals with ACE2 structures similar to humans. They are susceptible to many diseases and respiratory illnesses. But one animal has had a particularly rough time with COVID-19. Fluffy little mink are still hunted and farmed for their prized silken fur. European farmers culled millions of them in 2020 after some mink tested positive for COVID-19. Farm-raised mink in the Netherlands had started getting sluggish and had difficulty breathing. And farmers were afraid they would infect humans with a new strain of the virus. Zoetis, a biotechnology company specializing in veterinary health, created and successfully tested a COVID-19 vaccine that protects animals. The vaccine uses viral spike protein from the outer capsule of the virus as its key ingredient. Zoetis has donated over 11,000 doses to more than 70 zoos across the United States. So, should you get Baxter to queue up for his COVID vaccine? The consensus among veterinarians is that right now, preventative COVID-19 vaccines for cats, dogs, and other common pets are not necessary. So although you can pass a COVID-19 infection to your pets, research at the Utrecht University in the Netherlands confirms that infected cats and dogs only experienced mild or no symptoms. They also seem to recover much faster than humans affected by the virus. Cats are easier to infect than dogs, and thankfully, neither animal can transmit the virus to humans. 
If your pet shows any symptoms of COVID-19, follow the local quarantine and isolation guidelines. But remain cautious. With the virus constantly mutating and new variants surfacing every few months, we still don't know what will happen. But animal research might hold the key to understanding and managing COVID-19 better. For instance, do you know that some animals can breathe through their butts? Researchers are looking into applying this to humans to support respirator shortages. Want to find out more? We cover this and much more on Crazy Creatures.